Hello everybody, I'm George from Beaumont Guitars. And I'm Harry. What's your name? And he, you have to say, and I'm Lily. And today, the three of us are going to be taking a look at the Mesa Boogie Fillmore 50 combo. Harry, what do we have? I see two channels, three more. Why, why are you asking me what do we have well, because, if you're just going to talk? All right, all right, all right. Well, we have two channels here, three modes each channel, um, both identical. We have 50 watts, 25 watts, drops the whole amp down, uh, effects loop, uh, reverb for each channel. What else do we have, Harry? It's simplistic controls. It sounds really great. Well, six what, L6. What kind of, yeah, what kind six of power L6 tubes are we running? Power tubes. How many preamp tubes are we running? Five 12 AX sevens. Okay, and, uh, and we have a custom Celestian speaker, which honestly is one of the reasons that this just shines even more. It's a higher powered speaker. It sounds really, really good. It makes the cleans really chimey and come through. Uh, I like it a lot. Harry, what are your feelings? I know you've been playing for a day or two and... Yeah, it sounds really good. Uh, I like the, uh, the fact that kind of like they brought back the, um, like the channel cloning that they used to have on the original two channel rectifiers. So basically you can have uh, both channels be clean, both channels be dry, both tra channels be high, uh, whatever you want. So if you're not a clean player and you're just playing distortion, you can have one set uh, you can have them both set for drive and then have one set for like less gain and one set for more gain. Uh, you can have them uh, both be clean, you know, one with just a different tone. Um, a lot of flexibility. Yeah, so uh, you don't have to stick with the rule of thumb where it's just, you know, one side is clean and one side is distorted. You can sort of do whatever you want. Uh, you can even flip them around where like your clean, ch like your first channel is your distortion channel. And your second, and your second channel is your, uh, your clean channel. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it sounds it's, great. It's, yeah. it's definitely a way different departure of a lot of the things that they've done. And, you and, know, it's, and it's nice because there's not really, there's nothing really on the back. Uh, everything's just on the front. It's a yeah. very simple design. Um, just the speaker jacks on the back and like the effects loop. Yeah, but no controls or anything like that. You know, everything's right there in front of you. Laid out very simply. So no, what no, you see is what you get. Yeah, no, no five band EQ. I know a lot of guys and girls are intimidated by that when they see it. It's, you know, and, and it can be intimidating if you're not familiar with it. But now, very easy tone dialing. You know, it's all right there for you. Just simple, you know, gain, treble, mid, bass, presence, and reverb. You can also hook up a one-button foot switch, which will allow you to turn the reverb on and off for each of the channels, making the flexibility a little bit better for you. Yeah, so now we don't have to hear everybody come in and be like, you know, they, no have, reverb. Too, they have too many controls on them. You know, we need, you know, it's too much. Well, you know, Boogie fix that, you know. Oh, yes. Here's a simple amp. Uh... You this know, is for everyone, really. It's for everyone. Yeah. And another thing we're going to demonstrate today, too, is uh, this amp takes pedals very, very well. And uh, at some point, we're going to show you a clip with the uh, grid slammer in front of it. Just, just to juice that. Yeah. We, we, we did just, that at the just, same just to time. Give it like, a little bit more. Just to juice yeah. the front end a little bit. You know? But uh, yeah, Harry, let's let's walk through the clean tone because honestly, it's it's one of my favorites. And it's what drew me to this amp because... It's, it's such a crystalline sound. Like, it just sounds really good. Crystalline, yes. Crystalline. That's right. Isn't that like a drink or something? Uh, that's crystal light, I think. Oh, okay. But you will hear from these tones that this amp is awesome. Yes, all right, all right. We got some glasses in the mix over here. You ready? Should, should I play this clean part? Let's let's hear what this thing sounds like. We got the master at half. Should I there. wear the sunglasses? Yeah. So I can be cool. Oh man, have you ever taken your glasses off? Yeah. It's like I mean, a first. I can't. <laughs> I won't be able to see. So the clean parts are gonna be even worse than normal. But you look cool. Yeah, that's all that really matters, right? I 
think we yeah, need a more right. verb, man. A little more verb. Come on. More just, verb? Yeah, yeah what, what just a little. It? Yeah, beautiful. Another thing about this amp too that I'm gonna say, whenever a new amp comes in, you know, I'm one of those guys that does like the 12 o'clock thing. So it's like, if it doesn't sound really great at everything at 12 o'clock, you know, and this amp does that yeah, as well. Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, I guess you could do that, but you know, that's, you know, 12 o'clock doesn't really mean flat. That's true. So, you know, because there's a lot of different things going on where your speaker might be EQ'd a certain way. Um, you know, you're also dealing with your guitar. So, you know, 12 o'clock isn't, isn't always really the greatest way to start. Um, you know, but I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't set it like that. That's why, you know, we sat down before we did this video. And, little EQ action. And just, you know, messed with it until, you know, I was, you know, I liked what the tone I was getting out of it. Another thing, too, that I want to say about this, this is going to give... Uh, another very big manufacturer, a huge run for their money, absolutely huge for the for the price point, for what it does, for how pedal friendly it is. Listen, we're not we don't, you know, we don't you know pull punches here, you know. So, you know, I mean, you can definitely get your you know your your Fender style sound. Out absolutely, of this, absolutely. But you know, no Fender you're gonna get is gonna have this kind of gain structure in it. No, no way. Um, so this is sort of like your, um, you know, like your Hot Rod Deluxe or uh, your regular Deluxe. It's uh, even, you know, kind of like a Princeton, but, yes. you know, you'd have to drop it down to the 25 watts to get close to that since it's re that's really like a, a 20 watt amplifier. But at least you can get a little bit more in the ballpark. But what you can't get out of a Fender is a little bit of... You know, is I can't even see where the hell I'm switching because <laughs> somebody made me wear sunglasses. See, that's enough for me right there. Like I, I yeah. So that's so that's nice. That's the um, the uh, the drive channel. Oh, we're gonna label we're gonna we're gonna label the settings. Is this the label maker? <laughs> In the calculator, all right. <laughs> what are we gonna do with those? See, she knows the place at the right the right angle too. Just leave them. Oh, we're gonna just leave them there. Okay, for looks. Got you. And should I be playing this? I feel like, I don't know, should I? Well, I just want to say that, you know, we're now endorsed by P-Touch. She just placed it. Now you messed um, it up. Staples calculators. <laughs> yes. And hold on. I need to tell them who makes these sunglasses. I think these are, uh, it says made in China. So it's probably like Oriental Trade. Um, but, you know, we, we're, we're endorsed by those companies now. So um, Definitely looks better. I like that. Yeah, so like if you style. ever need... Um, calculators, P touches, or sunglasses, you just come and see us. Um, oh, now I can see the controls again. Uh, so we're on the drive channel now. Um, uh, actually labeled drive yes. on the control panel. Uh, I got the gain up all the way. Um, I'm cutting the, the, the treble and the presence significantly because um, um, the guitar's a little on the bright side. Um, I got a little bit of verb in there, um, but just, you know, some, like a basic, you know, um, overdrive tone. I mean, that's kind of like where the gain tops out. That's that's a lot of territory right there. That's yeah. classic rock, you know, metal, it does yeah. blues. And I want to do a little example while you're playing. I want to show going over into high 
and then going back so they could hear like the difference between the two because the structures are very different. Yeah, the high definitely has a. Uh, there, there's a, a switch that also brings you to the high channel, um, the high mode, I should say, um, which is seems to have like a little less gain, um, but it's a little more. Um, it's a little bit more of a of a grittier kind of distortion. Like I would almost say like if you were listening to the two channels back to back, your drive channel is sounds more like, you know, uh, like a, like a Mark series amplifier where you're getting like those kind of tones and your high channel is sort of like your um, your orange channel uh, you know, back down on like a rectifier. Yeah, or even like transatlantic E, you know, kind yeah. of. It's got a like, got that flavor, a little less seasoning, you know. I'll go back to drive. Back to high. Back to drop. So it almost seemed like it added um, more bass mm -hmm. and a lot more Pre mid-range. Presence, yeah. Um, you know, it, it shifts the EQ. It, you know, yeah, it got it a lot bigger sounding. But the but the gain is a little different, you know. Um, you know, not not that it is less gain, but it's just it's just a, a like I said, like a grittier kind of distortion. Yeah. Definitely hear more bass too. I bet you the guys from Lamb of God have already been using this. Because it seems like that's right up their alley, too, in that drive setting. I mean, it's such an articulated gain, you know? It's There's not really much room for error with that. Yeah, I don't like them. Uh, George is a big fan of Lamb of God. Love Lamb of God. Just saw them at the last uh, tour, Slayer Farewell. Uh, now let's hear on the drive channel, and let's uh, add so, that little grid slammer action. Yeah, so we got a grid slammer set up uh, on the front end. Um, we got the drive down all the way. We got the volume up all the way. Um, so drive at zero, uh, level at 10, and we probably have the tone control at around nine o'clock, uh, just so it doesn't brighten things up too much. And we just have it just to kick the, kick the amp up a little bit. So uh, it does take pedals really well, like we said. So if you are gonna be doing some, uh, some lead work, it works great. Or if you just need a little bit more kick on your distortion end, just to give you uh, a, a little bit more uh, metal. A little bit more metal, a little yeah. kick in the pants, you know? Very good. Uh, it's definitely, you know, in the metal territory. If you wanted to juice up that front end, do something a little, a uh, little different. Yeah, and you, and obviously, you know, you can bring the drive up more on on your tube screamer or whatever pedal you're using. We just think that it really worked well with the grid slammer. Another boogie know, product in stock. Um, and uh, as you can tell, we don't really have a lot of volume on this. You know, it's it's set really low. Even though it's at 50 watts, uh, the amp really kicks. It doesn't take much to get it to, yeah, it's very to loud. scream. Um, so definitely able to play it uh, in a live situation. Oh, absolutely. Um, Can you yeah. even feed this to another cabinet too? And, uh, you know, this is available as a, uh, a head as well. Yep. 
Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to be having that in soon uh, with um, a single 12 and a 212 cabinet. Um, Please, you got to come in and try else? these things. You got to come in and just get behind it, play it, feel it, see what it's about. Uh, I promise you, you won't be uh, you won't be disappointed. It's gonna appeal to a whole new set of players, definitely. Yeah, sounds great. Come on in. Uh, head over to and, Beaumont Guitars. And, Check uh, this out. There'll be a link at the bottom of this page somewhere. The bottom, right down here. Uh, and again, remember we are sponsored by uh, Staples and P Touch. That's right. And uh, we want to bring in our special guest that we had in today. Yeah, we had you, a special you guest. You want to come in and just say goodbye to everybody? You want to come and say goodbye to everybody? They want you to say goodbye. No? Okay, well, she doesn't want to say goodbye to you. Uh, and uh, I don't want to talk anymore. Thank you, you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment below. I've been George. He's been Harry. Uh, thank you for watching. Harry, that was you saying goodbye. Do you want that, that was me saying goodbye. Do you want to play out with a nice little, nice little ditty or what? Yeah. All right, what do we got? Thank you for watching. See you later. Oh, there you go. Bye-bye.